The weather is rubbish here at Tampa Bay, but doesn't matter. We're at Bush Gardens and today, hopefully, gonna get on my very first RMC, which is Iron Gwazi. Now it's been on and off all morning. You can see there's no one on it at the moment. The weather is really hampering operations here. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting, but hopefully we'll be able to get on it shortly. So, the steepest in North America is steeper than um, Steel Vengeance, but most people think Steel Vengeance is still a better ride. I was lucky enough to come on the original Guazi um, back in 2014, just before it closed and was reimagined by RMC into Iron Guazi. I can't wait for this. It's time to get on. Here it is, Iron Guazi. Of course, it used to be Jewel Station, it used to be a racing coaster. The station bit actually hasn't been changed. This has all been reused. And of course has had an RMC makeover since we were last here. Yeah, that's a drop. for a back row Gwazi. Let's see what this is all about. It's happening again. While sign Gwazi is open, the storm is coming in. You better believe I'm going to get my RMC fixed today. I can hear it. You can hear it, but you just have no idea where it is. There it is. That element. One of the best elements I've been on on a coaster. Undoubtedly. The dive is incredible. Right, it's Anguazi time. Jump down. Just wow, how quick is that? 
Whoa, so just over 200 foot, 206 foot tall Iron Guazi. You come out the station here, drop down a little bit before heading up that lift hill. It's a 91 degree drop and then it is just an absolute thrill ride as you go round. Um, I, I don't know what, what happened where, to be honest with you. I'll just have to look back and check it out if you haven't already. I'm sure you've already seen Iron Guazi. Um, we just beat a massive rainstorm as well. It's been, we've waited about an hour for it. But oh my God, that was so, so worth it. Um, once you drop down your head to the right, it is, it is absolutely non-stop for inversions, through tight turns. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult when you see videos of RMCs and you're like, oh, you know, how does it do that? How does the track work? How smooth is it? It is smooth as, bear in mind it's raining here in Tampa. It is smooth as, the speed is relentless, it never lets up at all. It hits the brakes at the end, it must still be doing 35, 40 miles an hour when it hits those block brakes at the end. Absolutely insane ride. Where would I rank it? Well, I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you. Kurt preferred Velocicoaster over this. I think this actually holds. I don't know, I think, I, I think this is a better ride. I think for frills, this is a better ride. Completely unpredictable. You really can't sort of, you know, see what's going on, but Velocicoaster does have the theme going for it. Oh, I don't know, I'll sit on the fence on that, but that was my first ride on Iron Guazi. I hope you enjoy the POV. It is dark, it is a bit um, wet here in Tampa, but my God, what a ride that is. Thank you for joining us here. We'll see you next time.